Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalom wa Shara'ala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson. Bahar Chachorah Shalmaf in the Holy Spirit of Truth. And uh, the title of this video will be something along the lines of The Leaders of This World Are Diddy Boppers. <laughs> the, leader, the leaders of this world, the people that control this world, that control the resources, that make the laws, they're Diddy Boppers. Okay, the same shit that Diddy is going down for. They do that same shit on a different level. Where do you think Diddy got it from? In order to be, in order to advance in this world and get on that high level, you got to show that you're down with them. Okay? That's why it says in the in the Gospels, it says, What does it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world but lose his soul? Let me start off with... Matthew, this is going to be a short lesson. I was just uh, watching, uh, like, breakdowns on the on the Diddy case and shit. Or I, I'm not going to say I was watching a bunch of them. I've I seen one or two of them uh, while I was at work. I was listening to, you know, the breakdown of the charges they putting on him and all the shit, all the different shit that this nigga got going on. But he's a nobody, all right? And they're using him as a distraction, What's worse is the people that run this country, that run this world, that's the type of shit they into, okay? They they into SEX uh, trafficking, children. A movie just came out on that topic. They're taking immigrants, so-called immigrants, on the south border of America, and what do you think they're doing to those little children, man? When I was younger, when you used to go into Walmart, there would be pictures of missing children. As soon as you enter in, a wall full of mi missing children. Majority of them never found. They ended up in a SEX ring on the black market. And this devil is in control of that. These politicians, niggas talk about vote or die. These politicians is a bunch of freaks. Joe Biden is clear. He's a, you know, a P-E-D-O. A Chester, you know, a Chester. We leave it at that. And we see that they're trying to normalize that. Because that's their true nature. That's their true ways. A bunch of damn detestable, vile-ass creatures that need to be brought down. But anyways, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, in verse, I start at 1, it says, Then was Yahweh Shai led up of the spirit, led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the son of Yahweh, command that these stones be made bread. So the Lord's battling with Satan. And obviously the Lord got the victory. So I'm going to jump down to the point in verse. Verse 8, it says, Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. So if you want to make it in this society, on a high level, on a level like Diddy, who's supposedly a billionaire, you got to bow down to Satan. You got to worship and serve Satan. That's the only way you get in that position. So Diddy and others like him, they took the oath. All right? Everybody's so focused on you niggas, really, so focused on what did he got going on. What about Epstein and the different people that was on that list? 
Those people should be getting thrown in jail as well. What about P-I-Z-Z-A gate? Where these different politicians was caught via email. They got all the they got all the documents on it. Where these different politicians was using code words to defile innocent children, so-called innocent children. Politicians, governors, senators, Hillary Clinton, all these people are fucking wicked, man. The people of this world is into shit way worse than Diddy. And that's one of the many reasons why this place is soon to be destroyed and the people that's in rulership the devil that the Bible speaks of, his kingdom is going down and they're going into and they're going into slavery. The Edomites, starting with the elites, they're going into slavery for a thousand a thousand long years, and then they're gonna be exterminated. Rightfully so. So let's go from there to the book of Wisdom of Solomon. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12 and verse 1. For thine incorruptible spirit is in all things. Therefore chastenest thou them by little and little that offend, and warnest them by putting them in remembrance wherein they have offended, that leaving their wickedness, they may believe on thee, O Lord. And the Lord is being merciful. He's showing mercy in these last days, and the doors of mercy is soon to close. The doors of repentance is soon to abruptly close. And these people will not have no excuse. They can't say, well, I didn't know. And you did know. Because the Lord has his messengers out there on the highways and byways. Blowing the trumpet. Day and night. Putting up lessons all throughout the week. On the internet where you have free access. To listen to the words of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. You have plenty of opportunities to get right. As it says in the book of Sirach, the fifth chapter, it says, Put not off from day to day, for suddenly in your destruction, let's just read it. Sirach chapter 5 and verse 7, it says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, and the day of vengeance approaches. And these people, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and the ones of us that's been scattered across the four corners of the earth, have been putting off the day of the Lord despised the Lord's messengers, mocked his prophets. So when the wrath comes upon them, they will not have any excuse. You despised his teachers. You despised the counselors that he set up according to his own heart. His prophets, his messengers set up to lead you and guide you. But you talk shit. So when that destruction comes, it'll be justified. And the blood will be off the prophet's hands. It says, Therefore chastenest thou little by little that offend, and warnest them by putting them in remembrance wherein they have offended, that leaving their wickedness, and this is what we're telling you to do, do not this abominable thing that the Lord hates. Leave off from your wickedness. Repent. What did the Lord say um, he, to, the, to the woman that was caught in the act of adultery? He said, Go your way. And sin no more. Lest a worse thing come upon you. Okay. I believe he said that. Lest a worse thing come upon you. When he was talking to that woman. It 
Salaki, I'm trying to look it up. I just read... Nope, he wasn't talking to the woman. So when he was talking to the woman, he said, go your way and sin no more. Which is true repentance. Repentance is, is not just saying I repent. And you continue to do the same shit that you do. No, repenting is turning from your wickedness like this wisdom of Solomon is saying. It's turning from your sin. What is your sin? Transgressing the law. Disobedience, right? There's the book of St. John chapter 5 and verse... 10 it says the Jews therefore said unto him that was cured it is the Sabbath day it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed he answered them and he answered them he that made me whole the same said unto me take up thy bed and walk so the Lord healed this lame man okay that's the context the context of what we're reading verse 12 it says then as they him what man is that which said unto thee take up thy bed and walk and he said so like and he that was healed Wist not who it was, for Yahweh Shai had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Yahweh Shai findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon thee. This is what, this is the same message. We have the same message of whom the world eagerly calls Jesus, his real name being Yahweh Shai, the same message that he was preaching when he was on this earth. When he was working his ministry, we have the same message today in these last in, in, in these last days. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Lest she repent, Luke 13, lest she repent, in the red letter, Yahweh shall speaking, ye shall all likewise perish. See, Diddy is just following. What he's learned from his daddy, the devil. John, the eighth chapter. You have your father, the devil, and of his lust. Let's read that. St. John, chapter 8, and verse 44. Year of, the f year of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. So these fucking all the all the music industry is controlled by ish people. You know, the motherfuckers with the big noses and the small hats. They run the music industry. So in order to make it as a rapper, a producer, a singer, an entertainer, you have to go and bow down to them. In order to be initiated, you got to do what they do. Which is some freaky, vile, wicked, detestable things. John chapter 8 and verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and a father of it. Just a wicked spirit. Just a wicked spirit. And after that a thousand long years, there's no, there will be no need for an Edomite. Okay? After they serve their sentence, he got Diddy on trial. The Lord's about to have the Lord got Esau on trial and he's trying to escape judgment. As it says in the book of Nahum, the Lord will not at all acquit the wicked. You guilty of all charges. And your ass is going into slavery for a thousand years. And then after that, death penalty. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. This is the patience and the faith of the saints. Revelations 13 and verse 10. Job, the fifth chapter, it says, Knowest not ye this of old, that the triumphing of the wicked is short? And but for a moment, and he shall perish forever like his own dung. So your triumphing, your rulership, your kingdom is coming to an end. Your little moment is over with. It says in Revelations that Satan, the devil, he shall be loosed a little season. To deceive the nations. Well your little season. Of deceiving. Is come to an end. 
How do we know that? Because the truth is being brought out. And that's how you destroy a liar. That's how you destroy a lie. In the book of, I believe it's Nahum, it says, Woe to the bloody city, which is full of lies. That's the foundation of this society. That's the foundation of Esau's rulership. The blood of the Israelites and lies. So if your foundation is lies, how do we destroy your foundation? By bringing out the truth. We don't need guns. The weapons of our warfare is not carnal. We're using this sword, the spiritual sword, the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is quick, powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword to hew you into pieces through this ministry. And guess what? It's working. This gospel shall be preached in all the world, and then shall the end come. And the end is made manifest. It's obvious. Okay? This back in Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 3, it says, For it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers both those old inhabitants of thy holy land. It's talking about the Canaan the Canaanites. Right? That was inhabiting our land, promised to us, the land of Israel, formerly known as the land of Canaan. Verse 4, it says, Whom thou hatest, the Lord hates. Whom thou hatest for doing most odious works of witchcrafts. You got, um, you know, the new, the new internet, you know, that internet slang. Nasty work or um, there's another one that they. Yeah, nasty work is, is the one. Yeah, that's nasty work. I'm going to start using that. That's odious work right there. That's odious work. We we be using the biblical, <laughs> the biblical slang, biblical terms. This is the word odious on online etymology dictionary. Hateful, deserving of hatred, hated, regarded with aversion or repugnance. Offensive, unpleasant, hatred, hateful. So it's hateful, right? In short. It says, for it, for verse 4, whom thou hatest for doing most odious works of witchcrafts. That's odious work. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to start saying that. It says, whom thou hatest for doing most, yeah, a, 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 a nigga woman, so called black woman with blonde hair. That's odious work. Funky ass. Why that don't look right, but that show you who she wanna be like. I, I I've been saying this. Imagine, all right, a six foot three nigga, all right, six foot three, dark skinned nigga. He's walking around with a blonde Justin Bieber weave. You know how crazy that nigga would look. You know how bugged out the world would look at that man. But then they see these fucking black bitches walking around. With a blonde weave and ain't nobody bats an eye. Shit, not I. Not us in the know, not us in the truth. Look at this bitch. I don't care how what she. I don't care how fat her ass. Her how fat her ass. Slakia. How fat her ass is. I don't give a fuck. The bitch looks retarded. Excuse my language. This was the Messiah in twelve and four. Whom thou hatest for doing most odious works of witchcrafts. And wicked sacrifices. And that's what the elites are into. Wicked sacrifices. Okay? I was just seeing something the other day. Google runs on a program called Adreno. And... In order to get on their internet, it's called what? Chrome. Those who know, who know. Or those who know, know what I'm talking about. And you can't even really, you know, you can't even, I'm trying to choose my words wisely. But they blood suckers, man. They vampires for real, for real. 
right? Which this is going to go into it. It says, whom thou hatest for doing most odious works of witchcrafts and wicked sacrifices. So, them, you know, orgies and shit that they be having, little SEX parties that they be having, that's all part of rituals. Wicked sacrifices. And also those merciless murderers of children and devourers of man's flesh and the feast of blood. This is what, you know, you said, you think uh, Illuminati, you think about Jay-Z. Some damn Jay-Z, that's a low, very, very low level Illuminati. He's a peon compared to who's really in control. Who the fuck is a goddamn Jay-Z? He's a nobody. Alright? But his bosses, these people make laws. These people control money. These people control resources. Weapons of mass destruction. These, these are the people that's in rulership. They're diddy boppers, okay? They do wicked sacrifices. They're merciless murder, merciless murderers of children. They're devourers of man's flesh. They have feast of blood. And it's all coming out. It's all being exposed. Esau is being made naked. Bare. As it says in the book of Jeremiah, it says you can't hide yourself. There's another scripture in Thessalonians. It says that that wicked shall be revealed. The wicked is being revealed. Fuck a goddamn Diddy. They put Diddy in. You know, uh, Bill, Co Bill Cosby and R. Kelly. They put these niggas all in the... In, in the Face of sexual, you know, using them as the face of sexual degeneracy. They getting that from the damn devil. The people that control your food. And you people not mad. You people all up in arms about some goddamn ditty. Oh, I ain't never listened to no R. Kelly song ever again. When the information comes out that you're politicians, like I said, these people control your food. That's a whole, that's a, another lesson for a different day. What they do to the food, what they do to the feet, to, to, to the meat, to the cow, to, to, to the chickens. What they do to the produce, putting all type of pesticides and herbicides. We have to get out of here. We need salvation. We need deliverance. OK, it says, and also those uh, verse six, this is wisdom of Solomon 12 and six with their priest out of the midst of their idolatrous crew and the parents that killed with their own hands souls destitute of help. Right. Abort, abort, abort. Deleting babies. Right. This is legal in uh, shit, most of America. And it, when we started, it said that the Lord hated the Canaanites and it gives you, you know, the reasons why the Lord hated them. These people were wicked. Well, the people that's in rulership today is doing the same shit, but even worse on a whole different level. So guess what? The Lord hates they ass too, and the Lord is going to get rid of them, right? And the parents that killed with their own hands, souls destitute of help, right? Talking about, you know, the children. Verse 7, it says that the land which thou esteemest above all other might receive a worthy colony of Yahweh's children. This stuff that we just read is going on in our land right now by the imposters. By the ish. So the Lord's going to get rid of them. And bring a worthy colony of the Most High's children. The elect. 
I don't want Ratazai to be that number. Plant us in our land. Give that land who it rightfully belongs to. Okay? That's it on that. Let's go from there and go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14. In verse 22. Moreover, this was not enough for them, that they erred in the knowledge of Yahweh. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called they peace. For while as they slew their children in sacrifices and, or used secret ceremonies or made revelings of strange rites. So the Bible exposes all these different things. What the elites are doing in the, you know, the quote unquote Illuminati. This goes all back to ancient rituals. The ancient Hamites was into this shit. Okay. Ancient Elamites, um, Moabites. These heathens, they always they always had some weird shit going on. And Esau adopted all of those wicked practices and is utilizing him to fuel his wicked agenda here in today's society. But as we quoted in that Job, the triumphing of the wicked is short and but for a moment. Your efforts will fail. The wicked will not win. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. If there's no amount of orgies and sacrifices you can do that's going to allow you to hold on to this vile piece of shit world uh, uh, that you call a kingdom. That you call great. The end is come. The end is come. Behold, it is come. And there ain't nothing you can do to stop it. Yahweh Shai is coming like a young hungry lion. And he will not be a base for any. It says, it says, for, for while as they slew their children in sacrifices or used secret ceremonies or made revelings of strange rites, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled, but neither one of them but either one of Slakia, but either one slew another traitorously or grieved him by I, by adultery. OK, these niggas be swinging, doing all type of weird, old, nasty shit. It's not a conspiracy. This is actually going on and it's being seen. So they got Diddy, you know, they busting Diddy for the shit, but. <laughs> What do you think the Lord going to do to them? The people that's ruling this world. The people that's calling the shots. Well, we already said it. This kingdom's going down. Fire and brimstone. Nukes is going to wipe America off the earth. Then we're going to go and gather up the elites. Put chains on their neck. Fetters of iron on their nobles. And lead them into captivity, severing out continual employment. And then after a thousand very, very long years of hardcore slavery, this is your punishment. We're reading you your sentence, your judgment. You'll be exterminated. Perish forever like your own dung. Flush down the toilet like a piece of shit. It says. So that there reigned in all men without exception, blood, manslaughter, theft and dissimulation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury, disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling of souls, changing of kind. Transformer. Decepticons everywhere. Disorder in marriages. Goddamn entanglement. Jada Pickett. Adultery and shameless uncleanness. The damn diddler. The thing is, he's not, he's not the worst thing out there. 
He learned that from the people above him. Like I said, and we'll continue to reiterate, these people control the world. These people control your food sources. These people control your lives. They own your lives. Literally. They make the laws. And we don't we the only ones that's really, really crying out and calling them out. And speaking against them in every way, shape, or form. It says that in the book of um in the book of uh Ezekiel. Set thy face against Mount Seir. Jeremiah 28, prophesy the end of kingdoms and countries, of war, of evil, and of pestilence. That's what we're doing. Sign and crying for all the abominations done in the midst. Okay? It says, for the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. So the idol in this case would be the, uh, the goat, Baphomet, which is an androgynous demon. Uh, this is really all Satan worship, man. Okay? But that was really it. The point of this lesson was to show you that they got, they blowing up Diddy, the same people that gave the okay to take, because this nigga been doing this shit for decades. They're just using him now as a distraction. As a decoy. But the same people that say, yeah, okay, go ahead and put this on blast. These are the same people doing these same works, but worse. And they will be judged. Just like the Lord judged them Canaanites. And took them out of our land it's gonna be the same thing man so this devil's gonna be eventually taken out the earth for the wickedness that he has done upon this planet it says that the lord will destroy him that destroy of the earth that's revelations uh 18th chapter or the 11th chapter i think it's 11 and 18 the lord will destroy him that destroyeth the earth Right? He said, who are you to take my law, you know, within your hands? See if that thou hatest instruction and cast my word behind thee. You claiming that you the Lord's children. You claiming that you the chosen. But your whole society is ran opposite of the word of the Lord. You allow Bati boys. You allow changing of kinds. You allow disorder in marriage. The woman be over, being over the man. You promote these things. You allow adultery. Matter of fact, you uplift these people. You put them on the forefront so that they can influence the rest of these fucking idiots, these sheeple, to follow that same wicked vibration. You're going down, <laughs> plain and simple. Having that said, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachachodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true. Holy, powerful, might the name of his only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Rechachorash, is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. of Israel being the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that rule well. Shalom, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, you better keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh and redemption is nearer than we believe. Shalom.